Here are five miscellaneous tips and tricks to optimize your gameplay. Presented by Fortnite Master. In this video, we'll go over a handful of miscellaneous tips and tricks to help optimize your gameplay, including some ways to move more efficiently and tricks that can come in clutch in desperate situations. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. There is a pretty cool way to carry more than 5 items across short distances that not many players use. It's called juggling. To do it, stand next to the item you want to juggle, and as soon as you pick it up, look up and right. Looking at the right spot is the crux of this technique, so it may take a few attempts when you try it for the first time. Once you're looking at the right spot, spam your pickup button while running, and maintain the same angle. Juggling can come in clutch in certain situations, like when you're inside of the storm and need to carry multiple items out. Juggling a med kit and shields out of the storm is a common example, because you need the med kit to heal storm damage and want the shields to carry with you afterwards. Instead of choosing between healing your missing health and carrying shields for later, juggling lets you do both. With careful technique, it's possible to juggle more than two items. We've seen people juggle three or even four items. And although it's mostly for show, we can think of at least one situation in which juggling four items could come in handy. Traps can be a huge pain, even if you spot them. It takes what feels like an eternity to shoot them out. Luckily, there are a few different ways to quickly disable traps using pyramids and ramps. For ceiling and floor traps, pyramids are your best friend. Floor traps are the easiest to get around. Just one normal pyramid over the trap is enough to disable it. Ceiling traps require an extra second of effort, because you need to edit the pyramid. Simply place the pyramid on the floor under the trap, edit three corners, and you are safe to run right past. Wall traps are a little trickier. You need to block the entire trap with a ramp or an edited pyramid in order to make it through safely. Your first option is just to rotate your ramp to block the trap, and then walk underneath it. The downside to this method is that you have to remember to rotate your ramp back afterwards. Alternatively, you can place and edit a pyramid to achieve the same effect. This gives you more options overall, and you don't have to think about rotating any builds. As a bonus, you can walk to the wall opposite of the trap to avoid getting hit. This is more useful in combat situations, where you don't have time to disable the trap with a build, like if you fall into another player's box and they go for the trap kill. This third trick is more of a small optimization of your gameplay. Instead of stopping to organize your inventory, or jumping and trying to switch items around before you land, use Auto Run. Auto Run lets you easily organize items without stopping movement and leaving yourself vulnerable. This trick comes in handy a lot in the early game, when you're constantly trying to pick up and reorganize new weapons. Everybody knows that feeling of trying to switch to a weapon, but realizing it's in the wrong slot. Auto running to organize your inventory helps you immediately rearrange your weapons without fear of slowing down or losing an advantage. Consider binding the auto run key to something that you won't accidentally hit, but will remain accessible. The fourth trick is one of the best ways to counter turtling with explosives. If an enemy is turtling with a ceiling and a pyramid on top of their box, you can stand on top and blow up the entire box without taking any damage. Essentially, by shooting or throwing your explosive on a different side of the pyramid than you're standing on, you'll avoid any splash damage. This works with all explosives currently in the game, although some work better than others. The RPG and quad launcher work best because they can instantly destroy somebody's box without any warning. You just need to get on top of their box, aim at a different side of the pyramid, and fire to destroy their builds and drop right on top of them. The only downside to using the quad launcher is that there's typically one wall left, whereas the RPG destroys everything. Out of the three handheld explosives, clingers work the best because they can stick exactly where you throw them, making it easy to land them on a different side of the pyramid. Plus, clingers will destroy the entire box every single time. Dynamite works for this trick too, although one dynamite can destroy multiple turtles even without this strategy. Regardless, it lets you drop right on top of the enemy. The downside to using dynamite is the sound cue and fuse time, which will give the enemy time to escape. Grenades work too, but you need to place a couple of walls on the box if you want your grenade to stay in one of the corners. This last trick is a cheesy way to get a small boost with just a ramp. This will only come in handy in the most desperate situations, like when the storm is catching up and you only have 1 HP left, but it can be life-saving in those scenarios. For this trick, look straight down so you can place a ramp just behind you, then jump into the ramp and it should push you forward a small distance. This works by taking advantage of the mechanic, where new builds will push players away if they stand inside of that build. Note that this only works in some areas of the map. 
It works best in flat areas, where ramps build completely on top of the ground, like tilted towers. It won't work in areas where your ramps are built mostly in the ground, because their trick requires you to place the ramp almost fully behind you while looking straight down. Thank you all for watching this video. On the right, you can watch another guide made by us. On the left, hover over the Fortnite Master icon to subscribe. Finally, comment down below which guide you want to see next. From over here at Fortnite Master, my name is The Saved One, and we're out. Peace.